If you're serious about your Wi-Fi security and protecting your Wi-Fi networks, implement WPA3 whenever possible. WPA2 can be attacked and hacked. Now I've demonstrated many, many times on my YouTube channel how hackers can attack Wi-Fi networks using a laptop or even just using a phone or other devices. WPA2 is susceptible to attacks, deauth attacks, as well as password capture or hash captures, and then password decryption of those hashes. A way to negate that is to use a very long password, 20 characters as an example, mixed characters, special characters, uppercase, lowercase numbers, make it complex. That obviously makes it harder, but that's the thing with security. Do you want better security or ease of use? If you want to improve your Wi-Fi security, have a look at implementing WPA3 wherever you can. Now, a common pushback to that or an issue people have with me saying that is not all devices support WPA3. So what you should do is create a WPA3 network for your important clients like your phones or your computers, and then perhaps a separate VLAN, separate Wi-Fi network for clients that don't support WPA3. Create a WPA2 network in a separate VLAN and put your IoT devices or other devices that don't support WPA3 on that separate Wi-Fi network, separate VLAN. IoT devices and older devices are more susceptible to hacks. So you don't want those devices on your main or most secure network. So put your important devices, your iPhones, your Android phones, your computers on a WPA3 network, separate VLAN to other older clients that don't support WPA3 and put those devices on a WPA2 network. You've got to weigh up the risks versus the hassle. Best practice today is to use WPA3 Make your password very long, very difficult to guess, mixed characters, uppercase, lowercase, etc. special characters, put your important devices on that network, put your less secure devices on a separate network to your important devices, separate VLAN. Don't put your IoT devices on the same network as your important devices, such as your phones and your computers.